day one, Santee Cooper. You know, this is a this is a lake where this tournament's going to take some weight. You know, relatively for largemouth fisheries, it doesn't typically take, you know, 16, 17 pounds a day to get paid. This is a lake where that's the potential. It could, if it's fishing in practice, it was fishing kind of tough. Probably would have took somewhere around 14 pounds a day in practice to get paid. Maybe 15. Probably 15 a day in practice would have got paid because it was fishing pretty tough. But we had an off day. It's March. Things are changing very, very quickly. So you just never know what's going to happen on this lake. They could start biting a little bit better. You can put your head down and fish and get some more bites than you get in practice because you go, typically most of these guys and me, we go extremely fast in practice. So you don't really know exactly how many bites you can generate. But this is a lake where you're not safe getting paid with 16 a day. You know, it's, you're, you're not safe competing for a win here with 21, 22 pounds a day. It's just, it, it, that may not be good enough here. So you just don't know what kind of potential it is, how this lake's going to show up. This is a phenomenal lake. It has some absolute giant fish in it. There's going to be some really big bags caught, and it should be pretty fun. Like I'm looking, I'm looking forward to this one. I mean, I, I didn't have a very good practice. It was pretty tough, but we had an off day, and we're going to fish in an area where I feel like I can catch some big ones, and I feel like I should be able to generate a couple bites at the same time. So pretty excited about this one. Um, just knowing the potential here is what makes this one so much fun. So, we're gonna get out there today, make a long run. Hopefully, catch them on a dang spro frog, popping frog, and then catch them on a dang untamed tackle apex swim jig because I had a really big bite on that in practice. And that is probably my favorite way in the world to catch them is those two baits right there. And if that doesn't work, I'll put on my sunglasses. If y'all don't know, I've been uh, wearing these Waterland sunglasses this year. Y'all seen them? You know, I've been wearing them. Hopefully, they're gonna get a workout today. Some of the fish are spawning. Hopefully more are pulling up. I hope, hope every single day you'll see fresh ones and more ones pulling up. So, you know, to make sure you have a good tournament and a bedfish tournament, you have to have more fish coming in all the time. So there's a discount code down below, Welcher 15. Or is it Welcher 10, Hunter? 15. Welcher 15. And the ones I've been wearing are the Asher uh, frame. That's the one that has the green mirror, amber base, or the lenses that I've been wearing are green mirror, amber base, or copper base, whatever you want to call it. But the Asher frame is one that I like the best one that y'all see me wearing. But anyways, hopefully we see a couple on bed, but hopefully we catch us three or four good ones early and we don't really have to bed fish too much. But uh, time to get the boat ready. So day one of Santee Cooper starts here in about 10 minutes. You know, this is the time of year where stuff's changing and we're on a lake that has a lot of really, really big fish on it. So we're gonna spend the first half of the day really just trying to get a clue. Cause on a lake like this, if they pull up somewhere and you can figure out where, you can catch a really big bag extremely quickly. So today we're gonna spend a lot of the time fishing around, exploring, fish a little bit of new water. Cause if we can just get a clue, it'll help us out going to the next four days. We had an off day yesterday. I haven't been on the water in, you know, like 24 hours. So we're gonna, Spend a lot of time trying to figure it out and then try to run it the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of that today. Look at how that one ate that dang swim jig. That's what I'm talking about. I'll take a couple of them bites. We caught one so far, you know, with things, with changing conditions and having an off day. That's not bad. It's, it's one that we probably need to cull, but we really are still trying to see if some of these big fish have pulled up and are a little bit more aggressive with the clouds and stuff because sometimes when they pull up right before they lock on or find a bed they'll eat like this pro frog or that swim jig i was just throwing and they'll uh you, know, you can catch some really big ones doing that so that's kind of what we're trying to do right now is see if we can generate some of those big bites with some of these you know baits that catch big fish just seen one on bed right there it was a small male i didn't see him in practice so maybe some more pulled up one thing I was kind of worried about was all that rain and storming we had yesterday. I didn't know if it was going to make some of them leave the bed or what, but that one was still there, or a new one was still there. So I think we'll be able to put something together today at some point.
Easy. I don't usually stop on that small, but I put the boat on top of his head and he just wouldn't move. So I was like, we'll give him a couple flips. Dude, they are cooperating a little better today. I'll tell you that. Because, <laughs> I mean, I just got to find the right quality because they're on it a good bit better than typical. At least better than it was in practice. four anyways A little bit better one there. How you doing? Doing good. Sometimes they'll go right back, sometimes they won't. He was pretty angry, so. He might go right back. Yep, he wasn't big as I thought. He's just so shallow. I thought, I mean, he's a decent one, but when they're that shallow, it's hard to tell. Hold up there, buddy. There's another good one. Two good ones. Left my live wheel open. That ain't smart. Yeah, that's my next biggest one.
this is a small one. I should have just eyeballed it. Should have done that. That's the size we need right there. Two more of those and a daggum big one. A big old big one. So. So we had a really good tournament at the Classic, and I like, I like getting them in back to back. Heck, I like fishing. I fish every day when I'm at home. I'd like to have 20 tournaments a year, but I just, I'm always trying to fish and get better at fishing and stuff like that. So I like, I like the tournaments. I wish there was more of them. It's what I, I love doing it. You know, it is, it is a lot whenever you're planning. A bit, a big thing of professional fishing is time management. So. Whenever you're planning for like the classic, I had to go ahead and be planning for this one because it was so quick afterwards, but I like that. I like fishing a lot and going to new bodies of water and fishing different places week to week. That's kind of stuff. I, that's what makes you want to do this for a living. her get out the bed all I gotta do is catch him and I'll catch her <laughs> but I couldn't catch him I kept losing him <laughs> yeah I lost the same thing twice Here, open it up. that is not the kind I caught that one like my fifth catch good at all today you know I, I said going down that if I could catch a couple good ones fishing around I would have a backup plan with some three pounders on bed and uh, I didn't catch any good ones fishing around so I went to the fish on bed got two of the three pounders a bite and found a couple more new ones so don't know what to do tomorrow I don't know we're probably gonna go fishing tomorrow and not look at quite as few I mean. That's seven and a half pounds. I think it might be 13, 14. 
I think you might, you might be right. I think I'm ready. Good job, let 13 pounds, 15 ounces. He moves into 16th place currently. And man, what an incredible performance. He had his Bassmaster Classic. And I'm making a prediction that is just the first of many, many big finishes you'll have. And uh, I know you'd like it just to be one spot different. And uh, you, I'm sure that will happen one day. But th this fishery, I would think, sets up well for your style of fishing. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it really does. It, I mean, it sets up, like, the way you fish here is the way that I love to fish. Like, shallow water, flipping trees, grass, you know, a lot of braided line, but sometimes you got to finesse them a little bit. This is, a, I mean, one of my favorite places to fish in the absolute country. But today I just didn't connect with one of those big ones, but that's the cool thing about fishing here is I'm super optimistic that I'm going to go out there tomorrow and get one of those big bites because, I mean, you've seen someone wade in. You can catch a 27-pound bag. It seems like at any minute here, so that's, that's our plan for tomorrow. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning.